let's get ready to get glam so as you can see I'm wearing literally no makeup whatsoever my eyebrows need to get done because they're looking kind of bushy but anyways today I'm gonna be trying out some new drugstore makeup I ran into Walgreens and I found actually found the foundation that I've been wanted to try for so long and this is the wet and wild foundation um i'm so excited i heard so much great reviews about this i was watching my girl tina yes my friend tina the fancy face here on youtube and she raved about these and i had to get my hands on it so i do watch her channel like her makeup haul videos a lot because that's my girl and i do watch her video and get a lot of product recommendation and i would just run out and get it so that was like one of our favorite foundations so i want to try it and see how it is on my skin so i have actually prone skin I do have a lot of dark spots so um, I want to see how that is gonna cover my skin so I'm curious to see how it's gonna cover my face and I do pick up some of the Real Techniques beauty sponges because I also want to try these out got my hands on some of the Real Techniques makeup brushes so I'm gonna try these out today and see how they work and yes without further ado let's just room right into the tutorial and I finished completing my eyebrows I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the skin I picked up the wet and wild foundation this is very very popular and the shade I got is cocoa and mocha I bought two shades because I don't know how they're gonna match my skin tone so one as you can see is a little bit deeper more red more orange and this is more neutral and for contour I'm gonna be using my Jordana sculpt and go contouring stick this is pretty new as well just be itself from a drugstore and I'm totally obsessed with this as well so first I'm just gonna give it a good shake all right, so the first shade I'm gonna try is the Coco. So I have like a soft matte to natural finish. I do prefer more of a matte finish, but we're gonna try this out. Start on this side that I have more of my dark spot and see how this works out. Okay, did apply quite a lot, you guys. And I'm gonna try my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. And I'm going to head and just pat that into my skin. So far the color is not bad. It's a little bit more lighter than my skin tone. So I'm definitely going to have to mix the other shade on top of it. But I'm going to give it a few seconds to see if this product kind of oxidizes on my skin. Meaning that it's going to get a little darker because usually foundations are like that. Once they start sitting on the skin, they oxidize and get coverage. I'm getting not bad. I'm going to try some in my forehead. Definitely more like a skin like finish. So this is what the side of my face look like with no foundation and this is what the side look with the wet and wild foundation. So as you can see did a really good job of covering up my dark spot. Coverage is definitely a light to medium. It's buildable as well. So I'm going to try doing another coat and see if that really give me like full coverage because I do love full coverage on my skin because I got to get rid of dark spots. But so far it feels very lightweight. Yeah very very lightweight on the skin and it's not bad I think it's pretty awesome it matches my decollete but again because my face is darker on the outer part and as you can see my dark spots but so far it's really nice but I really like the finish so far it's not bad for a drugstore foundation you guys it's really really not bad all right so I'm gonna go ahead and use the do the other side really quickly It definitely smells like paint. <laughs> like I'm literally putting paint on my face. It smells like paint. Ugh. So, so far the coverage is not bad. And the color, Coco, actually matches me more than the other one. Because the other one looks a little bit more orangey on my skin. So this cocoa it does oxidize it did get a little darker at my skin tone so it's not bad and i'm gonna go ahead and contour anyway so it's gonna help to even up my skin tone a little bit so it may look lighter in some areas but 
I guarantee you it's gonna work. It's really gonna work out. And this Real Techniques brush really helped to blend this out so nicely on my skin. Like, it is really, really nice. I went ahead and applied a little bit of this darker shade to the top part of my um, forehead. But as you can see, it's really orangey. It's very orangey. Oh my god, this is too orange. So I'm going to see how the color is in my forehead before I go ahead and just apply it to the rest of my face. This is really orangey. So I'm gonna skip using this color because it's really too orange for my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and just contour my face using the Jordana Cosmetics Sculpt and Go Stick. And this has been my go-to contour stick from the drugstore. So I apply a little bit of my forehead right on the hollows of my cheeks. This is a really good contouring product, you guys. This is from Jordana. I'm seriously, like, obsessed with this. Like, it is so good. Really, really good. And I'm going to go ahead and just, like, blend it out using my Real Technique sponge again. And my sponge is damp, just in case you guys are wondering. It is damp. Ready to go. Now that's all blended, I'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer. This is the Wet n Wild concealer, and the shade I got is called Medium Deep. And I also picked up Dark Cocoa. One is obviously lighter than the other, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and see how they are. They're pretty new. All right, so first I'm gonna use the dark one first to correct my under eye dark circles, and I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up using the lighter one. And the shade I'm gonna use first is called Dark Cocoa. Let's see how this goes. I heard a lot about the foundation, but I've never heard anyone talking too much about the concealer. So I'm going to try that today and see how it is on my skin. I'm going to go ahead and use that same Real Technique sponge, which is damp. I'm going to use the clean side and I'm going to blend it out. And the color is not bad at all actually matches in my skin tone really well so this color looks the bomb works out really really well now I'm gonna take the lighter shade and go ahead and just highlight a little bit I don't think I need that much highlighting you guys but so far the foundation is sitting really nicely it's sitting really really nicely on my skin it's very very natural looking doesn't look heavy or cakey but I'm gonna go ahead and test out the lighter shade and highlight with this and see how that goes and these are very very lightweight they're not full full coverage I'm gonna try highlighting with this okay that blended out so nice oh my god oh my gosh Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly set it using my, where is it, Black Radiance um, Soft Focus Finish Setting Powder because I don't have any under eye baking powder from the drugstore. Powder is bomb. 
do recommend go get it. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face using the Wet n Wow Press Powder. This is pretty much brand new, and we're gonna go ahead in the temples. So this is great to set the contour areas and also kind of warm up the skin. What noise? So I'm gonna use it and just warm up my skin a little bit. This is so nice. I am in love. You guys, I'm so in love with this powder. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, drugstore, come through. Come through. I'm so excited. Like, I'm wearing drugstore and it looks pretty flawless. Once you finish in powder, it's amazing. Like, it just really took my foundation to another level. Look how flawless and smooth my skin look right now. Like, I am like... Is this for real? This is drugstore. I'm wearing full on drugstore on my face and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, the hype is real. I, I'm an honest believer right now. Like, so first I thought the color wasn't going to match. And it turns out it did work out well. So, this finishing powder, I highly recommend you get your hands on it. This is great to kind of balance out the skin, balance out the complexion. It is really, really nice. I love, love this, you guys. Like, I honestly, I'm obsessed right now. Like, I really, really love it. And it matches really nicely. Oh my god. Okay. So, that's it for the complexion. I really, honestly, love. I need to come closer so you guys can see it. It looks so so nice you guys like I'm I'm so happy anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using my Urban Decay setting spray so this is the finished product the majority is drugstore except for the eye makeup which I think turned out to be absolutely gorgeous let me know what you guys think it oh my gosh this foundation alone is just it's just gorgeous it's like you guys this is gorgeous I am obsessed I'm gonna go ahead and just get all dolled up and show you guys the finished look okay guys so this is the finished look I really love the way everything worked out oh my gosh you guys I am so in love with the complexion I really love the way how my foundation look right now you guys it looks so beautiful so like natural looking like oh my gosh and this is the wet and wild again the wet and wild came through the hype is real it is amazing and also i'm in love with the setting powder the pressed setting powder oh my gosh it's like everything when i first got it I'm like this is not gonna work out and then i put it on and this is the result looks so so good i am so obsessed with the way this turned out i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up from your drugstore it is really really worth the hype honestly it's worth the hype and the shade is a little quite tricky because i thought i would gonna be the darkest color which is called mocha but turns out my friend tina was right she used cocoa and it's the same shade that matches me as well because this shade does kind of oxidize so it got a little bit darker on my skin so I love it. Thank you, Tina. My girl, Tina, be fair to face. So she recommended this, and I really, really love the way it turned out. Go ahead and check out her channel. Watch some of her awesome product reviews. And, you know, make sure you have your notepad ready to jot down stuff because she will make you go out and buy it. And she will not let you down. When she tells you the product is good, the product is good. Like, she does honest reviews, and that's the reason why I love her. But she was not lying about the Wet n Wild Foundation because your girl is loving it and you guys see me in the beginning I have acne broken skin dark spots everything is gone looking flawless right now ready for summer and it's super long wearing I don't feel greasy it doesn't look greasy I mean I have a lot of glow on right now but it doesn't look greasy or anything so drugstore is really kicking butt this year like I feel like they stepped it up a notch they're really doing amazing with their products and so far wet n wild has been my favorite go-to product right now that's it for my video I really hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching I'm so happy to be back stay tuned for my haul video coming up I'm gonna show you guys some amazing products I picked up including those Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes 
have everything in it down in the description bar if you want to check out the products that I use today in the video and also don't forget to give me a big thumbs up for this makeup tutorial let me know what videos you want to see next let me know if you want to try out any drugstore products anyways hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys bye